Toyota presents Let's Go Places on the Recruiting Trail as we hit the road to talk to some of the nation's best prospects. This week, we're visiting our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., where my man Joe McCann stopped at DeMatha Catholic High School to talk to running back Anthony McFarland. They do not shy away from expectations at DeMatha Catholic High School. Every year, the football team says it wants a Washington Catholic Athletic Conference title, if not a national title. And senior running back Anthony McFarland Jr. says he's the best running back in the country. No doubt, no doubt. You know, you gotta have that confidence. You know, I mean, I'm, I got that competitiveness in me, so you know, I just I feel like that I'm the best. Absolutely. He, he's in a program where we, you know he he's sacrificed uh, so that um, everyone can can succeed. Uh, uh, without a doubt, he can be as good as he wants to be. Being selfless for the good of the team is something DeMatha players learn pretty quickly. With a roster routinely stacked with Division I talent, one player is rarely the focus of the offense. Such was the case for Anthony in his first few seasons. He played several different positions for an offense that was full of major prospects. I describe myself, you know, just how all these all-purpose back, I mean, you know, versatile. I like to play in the backfield, you know, as well as going to slap, you know, receive a kick return game. This is just being versatile, just being how can I be viable to a team, you know, not just staying in one position and things like that. You know, I feel like my vision, you know, my speed and my power, you know, makes my game a little better than what it is and makes me separate from other players. He could have gone anywhere as a junior and rushed for 2,500 yards, um, but he but he he moved the wide out and, and, and split carries in the backfield and, and really sacrificed for the betterment of the team. A broken leg took Anthony's senior season away from him, but he was still able to be a leader for the team from the sidelines. Anthony and his family credit the atmosphere at DeMatha for developing him into the player and leader he's become. DeMatha has played a great role as far as on and off the field, so they have developed him very well academically, um, socially, in the community. Um, it's been um, a, it's been good to watch him grow. It's just something special about here, you know, not just about football, but you know, just the atmosphere. You know, being at school, you know, just being here, walking around the hallways with your brothers, you know, laughing, cracking jokes. I'm not ready to go to college because being here with my brothers is something that I want to do, you know, for a long lasting time. So it's pretty cool. Right here. Whether he's ready or not, the time for Anthony to leave Dematha is almost here. But he won't be going too far. He's committed to nearby Maryland for next season, where he'll be a major part of the Terps' future.